Circe canadensis is a large deciduous shrub or small tree, native to eastern North America from southern Ontario, Canada south to northern Florida but can thrive as far west as California. Description It typically grows to 6 a euro 9 m tall with 8 a euro 10 m spread. It generally has a short, often twisted trunk and spreading branches. A 10 year old tree will generally be around 5 m tall. The bark is dark in color, smooth, later scaly with ridges somewhat apparent, sometimes with maroon patches. The twigs are slender and zigzag, nearly black in color, spotted with lighter lenticels. The winter buds are tiny, rounded and dark red to chestnut in color. The leaves are alternate, simple, and heart-shaped with an entire margin, 7 a euro 12 centimeters long and wide, thin and papery, and may be slightly hairy below. The flowers are showy, light to dark magenta pink in color, 1.5 cm long, appearing in clusters from spring to early summer, on bare stems before the leaves, sometimes on the trunk itself. The flowers are pollinated by long-tongued bees such as blueberry bees and carpenter bees. Short-tongued bees apparently cannot reach the nectaries. The fruit are flattened, dry, brown, pea-like pods. 5 a euro 10 centimeters long that contain flat, elliptical, brown seeds 6 millimeters long, maturing in August to October. In some parts of southern Appalachia, green twigs from the eastern red bud are used as seasoning for wild games such as venison and opossum. Because of this, in these mountain areas the eastern red bud is sometimes known as the spicewood tree. In the wild, eastern red bud is a frequent native understory tree in mixed forests and hedgerows. It is also much planted as a landscape ornamental plant. The leaves are eaten by the caterpillars of some Lepidoptera, for example the eye moth. In the United States, this tree is difficult to grow further west into arid areas west of western Kansas and Colorado, as there is not sufficient annual precipitation. Its far northern range of growth is the lower Midwest, Ohio Valley, to the south of Boston. Bark, red-brown with deep fissures and scaly surface. Branchlets at first lustrous brown, later become darker. Wood, dark reddish brown. Heavy, hard, coarse grained, not strong. SPGR, 0 0.6363. Weight of cubic foot 39.65 pounds. Winter buds, chestnut brown, obtuse, 1 8 inch long. Leaves, alternate, simple. Heart shaped or broadly ovate, 2 to 5 inches long, 5 to 7 nerved, cordate or truncate at the base, entire, acute. They come out of the bud folded along the line of the midrib, tawny green. When they are full grown, they become smooth, dark green above, paler beneath. In autumn, they turn bright clear yellow. Pecial slender, to reet, enlarged at the base. Stipules caduceus. Flowers, April. May, before and with the leaves, papillinaceous. Perfect, rose color, born four to eight together, in fascicles which appear at the axils of the leaves or along the branch and sometimes on the trunk itself. Calyx, dark red, campanulate, oblique, five toothed, imbricate in bud. Corolla, papillinaceous, petals five, nearly equal, pink or rose color, upper petal the smallest, enclosed in the bud by the wings and encircled by the broader keel petals. Stamens, 10, inserted in two rows on a thin disc, free, the inner row rather shorter than the others. Pistil, ovary superior, inserted obliquely in the bottom of the calyx tube, stipitate. Style fleshy, incurved, tipped with an obtuse stigma. Fruit, legume, slightly stipitate, unequally oblong, acute at each end. Compressed tipped with the remnants of the style, straight on upper and curved on the lower edge. Two and a half to three inches long, rose color, full grown by midsummer, falls in early winter. Seeds 10 to 12, chestnut brown, one fourth of an inch long can be made to germinate by first dipping in boiled water for a minute and then sowing in a pot. Cotyledons oval, flat. Cultivation, C. canadensis is grown in parks and gardens with several cultivars being available. The cultivar forest pansy, with purple leaves, 
has gained the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Edibility Native Americans consumed red bud flowers raw or boiled, and ate roasted seeds. Analysis of nutritional components in edible parts of eastern red bud reported that, the flower extract contains anthocyanins, green developing seeds contain pranthocyanides, and, linolenic, alpha-linolenic, oleic and pomitic acids to be present in seeds. See also List of early spring flowers, list of late spring flowers References External links Circe canadensis large format diagnostic photographs and information. Morton Arboretum AC. 380-88-6, Circe canadensis images at bioimages.vanderbilt.edu, NCRS, USDA Plants Profile, Circe canadensis.